Welcome to North Star Knife Reviews. Do you ever have a knife that you find really useful, utilitarian, inexpensive, just an all around a useful, good knife, and then it gets discontinued by the manufacturer? Well, today we're going to talk about one of those knives. This is the Kershaw Barge. Now, I am not a huge Kershaw fan. Uh, I've had several Kershaws that have just been, uh, well, let's just say they weren't good. So I'm not a fan of Kershaw. I do have a number of them. A few are okay. A few really suck, quite honestly. But this is probably the most useful Kershaw I've found. And of course, it's been discontinued. Uh, discontinued maybe a year or two ago. I, I don't know exactly when. As I said, this is the Kershaw Barge. It is the model number, let's see, is 1945. You still might be able to find this on eBay or someplace like that. This knife, what, well, if you use knives, okay, you know that you're not supposed to pry with your knife blade, but everybody does it. On occasion you know you're, you're doing something you you've got a paint can you need to open it all you have is your knife you use the knife and do it the problem is you can end up with a bent or broken tip you could slip and cut yourself it's just not good for the knife it can mess with uh, the pivot and so you're not supposed to pry with your knife blade well this has a pry bar built in now this isn't going to take the place of a dedicated pry bar, but it is pretty solid and pretty useful. Well, let's take a look at this knife in a little more detail. You have a G10 scale on the show side, and then on the other side, uh, it is just the, the steel. This is a frame lock knife, as you can see. You have a pocket clip that can be right or left-handed, but tip down only. And that makes sense on this knife because you've got the pocket clip up here at the pivot end. If it was down here at the other end, it would mess with the utility of the pry bar. So it needs to be tip down. I know most people like tip up, but in this case, tip down is really by far the best option. Now, let's take a look at the blade. First, it is a nice little lamb's foot, sheep's foot, worn clip, whatever you want to call it. Uh, it's not perfectly flat, it does have some belly on it, so we call it a modified uh, sheep's foot or whatever you might want to call it. Um, the blade itself is fairly short for the handle. Uh, it's a little over two and a half inches with a cutting edge right about two and a half inches. You know, it's a pretty solid piece of 8CR13 MOV. You know, so it's not going to have the world's best edge retention, but it's going to be fairly easy to sharpen. Okay. It is a thumb stud opener. Not going to be something that you can really flip out uh, so on washers, so the action isn't that great, but you really don't need to. You know, you can just roll it out and it's pretty useful. It's got jimping two places here and here. If you're trying to open things, uh, you can really get up on it. You can also get up on it like this for some more delicate work and that works quite well as, uh, as well. Now, the thing that makes this knife really utilitarian, for me at least, is this built-in pry bar. And as you can see, it's held in by two screws. It does have a little lanyard hole here. The profile of this pry bar. And you can see it is pretty solid. And you can get in, open your paint can, uh, pry, whatever you need to do. You know, if you work in a warehouse or on a farm, or even just, uh, you know, for most people, puttering around the yard, you might find this very useful. It also has the tip here that is going to operate as a flathead screwdriver, should you need that. So with this knife, you don't have to use your braid to, blade to pry. You've got a pry bar right there and it makes it really useful. And this knife, I don't know the manufacturer's suggested retail price on it, but I know a couple of years ago, you could get this knife for 16, 17, maybe $20. All of which I think is a really good price for something that's so useful. 
It's been discontinued. I really wish Kershaw would bring it back. I know at least a couple people that uh, of my acquaintances who I think would find this really useful. Hope you found this look interesting. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. I'll catch you next time.